Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about fatty change that is steatosis. Now the fatty change, it refers to abnormal accumulation of triglyceride within the parenchymal cell. The fatty change can be seen in various organs but liver is most commonly involved. Firstly, we will discuss about the etiology, the cause behind the fatty change. Now, the fatty change can be due to mainly two reasons. First is the conditions which are associated with excess fat, that is hyperlipidemia, so that the capacity of the liver to metabolize the fat is exceeded. Second is due to liver cell damage, so that the fat which can be normally metabolized is not being metabolized now. Firstly, the cause behind the excess fat, one is the obesity, other is the diabetes mellitus and a very important cause is congenital hyperlipidemia. There can be numerous causes for the liver cell damage. The most important one is alcoholism, other are starvation, protein energy malnutrition, it can be due to chronic illness like tuberculosis. Other causes of liver cell damage can be hypoxia, hepatotoxins like carbon tetrachloride, aflatoxin, a very important hepatotoxin. It can be drug induced like due to steroids, due to halothane, carbon tetrachloride and Ray syndrome which is due to aspirin intake. Now going to the pathogenesis. For the pathogenesis, firstly we have to understand the normal lipid metabolism in the liver. Uh, the free fatty acids, they are mainly derived either from the diet of the person or from the adipose tissue. Now this free fatty acids, they enter into the hepatocytes in the form of fatty acid. The fatty acid can also be derived from the acetate and the free fat, these fatty acids, they are majority, they are converted into triglycerides with the help of alpha glycerophosphate. The triglycerides are then converted into lipoprotein and plasma lipoprotein. Also the fatty acids can be converted into cholesterol esters, phospholipids and ketone bodies for the normal body function. Now the uh, for the fatty liver, there has to be defect in these steps. The defect can be in any of the steps. First is that if there is increased entry of the free fatty acids from the diet or from the adipose tissue into the liver. Second can be at the level of liver where acetate, more of the acetate is converted into fatty acid, then it can be that fatty acids are now decreased, con there is decreased conversion of fatty acids into ketone bodies or phospholipids, which will lead to increased conversion into triglyceride. The fourth problem can be increased level of alpha glycerophosphate, which will lead to increase in the triglyceride. The fifth step, which can be problematic is in a decreased level of lipid acceptor protein so that the lipoproteins they are not being formed from the triglycerides we want the triglycerides in the pathogenesis of fatty liver to increase in the hepatocyte lastly there can be obstruction from the uh, excretion of the lipoprotein from the hepatocyte into the plasma this all will lead to increase in the triglyceride in the hepatocytes and leading to fatty liver. In case of alcoholism which is the most important cause of the fatty liver, mul uh, these multiple steps are affected. Now going to the morphology. In the morphology, firstly we know the organs involved mostly are liver, heart and muscles. For the stains to demonstrate this fat, Firstly, we should remember that routine H and E stain is not of much importance because these are fat soluble dyes. To identify fat, therefore, we have to go for frozen section or we have to go for special stains to demonstrate the fat like Sudan 4, we have oil red O. Because in case of H and E section, the lipids will be washed out and we will see an empty space instead of any fat. Now, uh, firstly, we will discuss about the liver. Now, grossly, the liver is not much affected, but if the fatty change is, uh, is accumulating progressively, the organ will be enlarged. It will be heavy and uh, 
uh, with time it can also have a greasy feel it would be bright yellow or soft okay now going to the microscopy in the microscopy we want we want to remember that the three uh, changes can be seen first is the microvascular fatty change second is the macrovascular fatty change and lastly is the fatty cyst now what are the microvascular change when we can see in this picture this shows the microvascular change in this the vacuoles which are carrying the fat they are small and they are present around the nucleus this is the microvascular change the macrovascular change in this with the progression of the process the vacuoles they become larger and then they will push the nucleus to the periphery of the cell you can see here the nucleus is pushed to the periphery this is the macrovascular change lastly in the fatty cysts uh, when many macrovascular cell many hepatocytes which are laden with these large lipid vacuoles they rupture they form fatty cysts this is the three changes in the case of heart the two patterns are mostly seen one is the uniform pattern this one first is the uniform pattern which is seen due to profound hypoxia or due to myocarditis so it is uniformly fat is deposited second is due to moderate hypoxia if there is any damage it will lead to a tiger effect what is a tiger effect there are bands of yellow myocardium and uh, alternating with uninvolved myocardium which is darker red brown in color that will give a tiger effect this was the morphology now uh, after this we will discuss about the cholesterol and cholesterol esters deposition in the body uh, the cholesterol can it is not a fatty uh, we are not discussing this is a different aspect now in cholesterol can be deposited in the case of atherosclerosis in atherosclerosis we know there is plaque formation and the plaque formation the smooth muscle cells and the macrophages they carry the lipid vacuoles and these cells they are known as the foam cells which are characteristic of this disorder other type of cholesterol deposition is xanthomas now xanthomas they are a swelling uh, in which we find clusters of foamy cells in the connective tissue of the skin most importantly tendons and leading to swellings in the body these are known as xanthomas other form of cholesterol deposition can be seen in the gallbladder which is known as cholesterolosis in which the macrophages carrying the cholesterol they are deposited in the lamina propria of the gallbladder also in the neiman pick's disease uh, type c there is a mutation in the enzyme involved in cholesterol trafficking which will lead to cholesterol accumulation in multiple organs okay in this picture we can see the foamy cells these are the foamy cells we can see this is the actually cholesterolosis this is a gallbladder and we can see macrophages carrying having the foamy appearance okay this was all about the fatty change and the steatosis if you like this video do like share and subscribe do ask any queries regarding the topic thanks for watching this video bye